Creative geniuses, born that way or can it be cultivated? Hi, this is Annie for DNews. Many of us assume that creative talent is specific to the individual. Either you're born a Beethoven or you're not, right? And yes, plenty of research supports the idea that creativity is deeply rooted in your genes. Scientists at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden have been conducting one of the largest population-based studies on mental illness for decades, finding that bipolar disorder in particular is linked with creativity, which is itself not totally surprising. Beethoven, Ernest Hemingway, and Winston Churchill are all believed to have shown bipolar traits. But they also found that relatives of neuropsychiatric patients tended to be creative too, suggesting that creativity does lie in the genes you share with your family. At the University of Helsinki, scientists similarly found that musical creativity in particular was connected to a certain cluster of genes involving brain plasticity, the ability of the brain to break and form new connections between cells. Again, consistent with the idea that creativity is the product of individuals born with that trait. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. Artists are quite often typecast as sort of renegades, people who break away from convention towards this pure self-expression. You're a Hunter S. Thompson, a Van Gogh, a Johnny Rotten, or even a Steve Jobs who famously once said, here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers. But from a social psychology perspective, the support of a group in creative thinking might be way more important than that stereotype would have us believe. A new paper published in Personality and Social Psychology Review argues that creatives do their best work when collaborating collaborating with peers or colleagues, because the community provides both a nurturing atmosphere and an audience. Like the rest of us, creatives need motivation too. So what do you think? Is creativity more nature or nurture? And if Beethoven were alive today, what kind of music do you think he would be making? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for tuning in.